Vice President Professor Yemi Oshibajo of Nigeria must get the I said Nigeria must get the birth stems for its trade and commerce if it's to join the African Continental Free Trade Agreement. Well, he was speaking at the eighth presidential quarterly business forum in Abuja. State House correspondent Maria Olashende has the story. This is the 8th Presidential Quarterly Business Forum since the inception of this administration and is a forum to engage the private sector on issues concerning Nigeria's economy. Recently, President Muhammadu Buhari said Nigeria was yet to sign the African Continental Free Trade Agreement because of the need to aggregate what Nigerians wanted from the deal. This view is echoed by Vice President Yemi Oshibajo, who believes there are benefits for Nigeria if she joins the Africa Continental Free Trade Agreement. But government must ensure it gets the best possible terms for Nigerian trade and commerce. Nigeria is actually engaged and we are leading the engagement, especially at the AU. This is something that has never happened in the past. In the past, we found treaties that were negotiated and signed. Nobody knew who negotiated them. Nobody knew how they were done. Nobody knew what was going on. Nigeria is today a, a, a position in Africa. We're not only the largest economy, we also want to be the leader. Not just being a large economy. We want to be the leader in, in innovation. We want to be the leader in business, in industry. We want to be the leaders. The progress so far made in infrastructure is another issue discussed at the meeting and the president's men are at a loss as to why the opposition would choose to criticize this administration for completing abandoned projects. The largest amount of money have been invested in infrastructure today, but we're also ensuring that we complete the projects. Look at the Kaduna to Abuja Road, that will be a railway pegapad. It started many, many years ago. But well, we concluded it when we came, you know, we finished with it. Abuja Light Rail. Abuja Light Rail started in 2007. It was stalled in 2010. The whole point of the Abuja Light Rail was to meet the Commonwealth Games in 2014. That's why it was started. It was abandoned. We just completed it in 2018. Although our opponents criticize us, they say we are shameless for even completing the project. I mean, sometimes that we, I mean, I don't, frankly, sometimes it's very difficult to understand where, you know, people are coming from. We ended up the meeting by inviting those who know about this industry to help dimension the size of the industry in financial terms. And I think that is important because when we can say to the Nigerian public, this is an economy you don't see, this is the opportunity for employment, and we bring that as a statement of fact, while also explaining the safety uh, issues questions now on how to make sure we do not disadvantage Nigeria and Nigerian interests as the AFCFTA inevitably, and two words inevitably goes forward. Because whether Nigeria signs it or not, it's going forward, because they have a lot, like a set of nine companies have signed up, it needs to be two to ratify it to go forward. And so we need to be thinking in the context of what does AFCFTA mean for us, not whether it will exist or not, because it's going forward. While accepting that the agreement would be good for Nigeria in the long run, some stakeholders maintain a lot more still needs to be put in place before Nigeria can sign the agreement. The Maria Olashaindi, Civil News, Abuja.